Hello YouTube. So my wife and I recently picked up a kayak for each of us. Wanted to show you guys what we purchased and go over the features a little bit. And um, we're getting ready to load them up and take them on the first, I guess our maiden voyage tomorrow. Do a little bit of floating, just a short float so we can kind of get the feel for them and uh, make any adjustments that we need to before we go on a longer one. So let me show you what we what we got. Um, this one is a Axis Dagger. It's a ten and a half foot sit in. So um, <clears throat> it's a sit in side. It's got a really nice, really nice seat. The, uh, the cockpit's nice. It's got the uh, adjustable foot rests inside. So you can adjust those back and forth, you know, to get your your foot, your feet where they're comfortable. It's got some stow space right here, along with the cup holder. Um, you've got your net up here with some bungee straps, and uh, and I've got her little case right there for her phone. But uh, but that all comes with the kayak. Now she also got a skirt, the uh, spray skirt, to go around hers. Um, I, I know I won't use it so I didn't bother to get one for myself um, even though my my kayak is also set up for the uh, spray skirt <clears throat> but I'm not going to use it so and then hers has the uh, the live well back here and I might I might be calling that the wrong thing um, and I've just got her her life jacket and um, a few other things stored in there now, both of these kayaks we picked up from Ozark Mountain Trading Company and they have several locations in southern Missouri and uh, northern Arkansas I believe so which is close to the area that we're in it was about a the closest one is about an hour drive and uh, the one that we actually purchased our kayaks at was actually two hours away um, but we were just headed that direction for another reason so um, one of the things that I like about her kayak and hers is hers is made to go a little bit faster a um, little bit more maneuverable whereas mine is more of a fishing style kayak but what I like is the uh, all of the area that I have for for gear and a uh, little bit more stability but I'll get, get to that in a minute so one of the things I like about hers is that it has the uh, adjustable skeg now, of course the skeg will pop up if, uh, if you're dragging over a shallow or something like that. Um, but it's adjustable on the side right there. You have a string that you can pull and set. So you can adjust your skeg. Right now it's all the way up. So if you don't want any kind of, uh, if you don't want any kind of tracking and you want more maneuverability, you pull that up. And if you're on more of a, just a calm float and you just want to go straight, you drop it down as it is right now so I like that I also like um, the handles front and back they're they're spring-loaded so the handle stays nice and tight up against the kayak out of the way and when you're ready to grab it you just pull it out so I kind of like that that's a nice little it's a nice little feature um, it does have your your oar strap here on the side so it's just a bungee cord with a hook so that's a nice little feature again it's got the uh, you can't see them very well but it's got the the paddles or the sorry the the foot rests inside that are adjustable they're on a track system so you can move those in and out I think that's pretty standard on a lot of the sit-in kayaks um, it's got some padding here on both sides you know where you might have your your knees up against them if you pull your feet up so and I'll, uh, I'll show you the bottom of this one too because these are different from each other. And again, this is the this is the Axis Dagger. So you can see that it's got a, a narrower hole, and uh, again, it's it's built more for maneuverability and speed than it is stability. But it's still a wide enough kayak that it should have some decent stability. Um, I believe hers is. Oh, I want to say 32 inches wide at the bottom. 
Uh, I believe they both are. So, anyways, this is the this is the Axis ten and a half foot um, Axis dagger. So that's the uh, the kayak that my wife picked out, the one that she really liked. Um, she got a super light uh, aqua bound, all fiberglass paddle. Um, she went with the lightest one she could get a hold of, and I believe it's a 29 ounce. Um, and then we both went with a 220 centimeter paddle as well. Um, that's about the right length for both of us. But she wanted the lighter weight because she has um, some muscle problems and shoulder problems. And so she wanted to go as light as possible on the oar just to reduce fatigue. So the kayak that I picked out is the Sound 9.5, 9.5 foot kayak. And this is the Sound Perception. Um, some of the things that I really like about this, one, the, the handles that are molded in, I really like that as opposed to some that are screwed on or, uh, you know, fastened in another way. I, I like that those, those can't come off. So it's got that front and rear. It has a drain plug here on the rear, so when you've got the, the kayak flipped upside down, you can drain that out. It's got a, a nice little... Um, gear area back here and, and again this is more of a fishing kayak so it's kind of designed around that but it's got the gear area back here where I can um, I'm the one that always carries all the gear so I'm the one that will have the cooler and I'm the one that will have you know snacks and drinks and, and whatever so so I like having that uh, that area to store some gear um, it's also got a, a nice little area up here and I've just got my my case in there right now that I put my I put my cell phone and my wallet and keys and all of that in my little floating case and then I've got it hooked to the bungee but um, so mine has a uh, side store for the oar and then you can also lay the oar across here and that's what this strap is for to put over your put over your paddle and hold it in place so it's got a couple different options there and again it's got the rim all the way around for the spray skirt if you want that. It's got the pads on the inside, a uh, nice padded seat, adjustable backrest, um, cup holder, a couple pockets. It has the, uh, I've got my I've got my life jacket in there, but the, uh, it's got the adjustable foot rests inside of it as well. And it also has the, uh, the screw holes for the, uh, I don't know what they're called, but it's the fishing rod holder. Um, you screw it in there and then it's adjustable so um, and I believe you can also use those for like GoPro cameras I think they have one that that fits that mount I'll show you what that is it's a it's a threaded hole large threaded hole anyways there's a there's a couple things that I know you can screw in there and and mount mount things too so so again um, and then these uh, large holes back here those are not drain holes they don't go all the way through those are for fishing rods as well and then the holes back here um, I think those are for fishing rods but I know they're drain holes because they go all the way through so so anyways uh, sound perception 9.5 so we've got a nine and a half and a ten and a half and that's uh, nine and a half is as short as I would go um, I was kind of looking for a ten ten and a half but this had everything I wanted. Um, I really liked the color of it, and so I decided to go with it. There was a, another one that was a ten and a half, um, same model, just a foot longer, and uh, I didn't like the color of it, so <laughs> so I ended up going with the nine and a half. But let me show you the bottom on this one. Um, and again, you know, this is a fishing kayak, so it's not made for speed and maneuverability as much as it is for stability. So I like that it's got the, uh, and I don't know what this is called, but it's got that triple fin back there, and that's supposed to help with your tracking. Um, and the design of it is supposed to help with stability. So again, you know, it's made more for stability, and, and I believe mine might be a couple inches wider than my wife's. And again, that's, that's all for stability. That's kind of what this kayak is designed around, is the stability. So... Um, and I went with a, a different 
paddle than what she went with. Mine is a perception paddle. Um, not not really any, any particular reason why I went with that one. I just looked through what they had, and uh, that was the one that I liked the most. It's a they're both two piece paddles, and they both have the uh, the drip guard rings on them. And uh, mine's just not as light, but I didn't I didn't really care about the weight, so on mine that didn't matter. And again, both of these came from Ozark Mountain Trading Company. Um, I definitely recommend you look them up and look through their selection and see if they have a store near you if you're looking at possibly buying a kayak. Um, they uh, they gave us a really good deal on the two of these. They shaved, uh, shaved a little bit off the price for us since we were purchasing two and, uh, and we went ahead and, and purchased our paddles from them or uh, went ahead and purchased our paddles from them, purchased the, uh, the rain skirt. Uh, we both got a pair of gloves. Um, we're both very, very adamant about covering up when we're on the water so we don't get too much sun exposure, uh, sunburn, etc. You know, we wear the, the big hats and the long sleeves. And so, so basically, um, I'm just kind of giving you an overview of the kayaks. And then tomorrow morning when we take them out, uh, we're going to put the GoPro on, probably put it on my wife's life vest. Um, both of our vests have a, a mount for the GoPro camera. So probably put it on hers, but we may we may do both. And uh, we'll just show you a little bit of, of us using them on the water and uh, how they track and the stability and everything. And uh, so like I said, if you guys are looking into purchasing some kayaks, hopefully this will be a good video to get some information. So Thanks for watching guys 